Good evening everyone, this is Hippie Tesla and welcome back to Quantum Break episode 2. Well, it's not 2, 3 and 4, it's actually episode 2 and 3 quarters. As we didn't really finish the second episode last week, we did however come across a golden relic left out in the open by the savage people of Monarch Solutions. Man, what jerks. I'm talking about, of course, Bruce Livingstone's script, Time Knife. It is now preserved on YouTube for everyone to inhale its wisdom. And if you don't know that, if you didn't know what I was talking about, shame on you, sir or ma'am. Shame on you. <laughs> okay, uh, a quick announcement. I will be traveling to the UK for the next two weeks and will not have my Xbox with me. So I'll stream something different from my laptop. Uh, it's going to be Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition on Windows 10. Uh, if you take a look at my mixer profile, the schedule is there now along with other useful info. So enough about all that, let's jump straight into Quantum Break episode 2 and 3 quarters. So last time uh, we had a perfect run up until uh, collectibles. Collectibles wise, we had a perfect run up until the point where we missed one. And it would be a shame to ruin an actual live 100%. Um, uh, gameplay with with missing a collectible so I snooped around and I found it and it's silly so Next, right after oh god damn it Jack is this your habit <sighs> shit okay so after we found Bruce's script all we had to do was walk out and just use the goddamn goddamn time eye raider thingy and we'd find it. It's actually here. It just it just didn't know my name last week. I'm here. Yeah. All right. And that. Don't kick it. Just jump. You have an issue, Jack. You have an issue. Kicking things that shouldn't be kicked. That that's an issue, my boy. So. Uh, part two is now 100% complete, so uh, so what I'll do is jump straight to part three, which is uh, which is where we got to last week. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I had uh, I had a touch of a flu last week. I wasn't feeling really uh, good. It kind of jumped me midstream, so that's why I kind of bailed uh, before finishing the episode, which is not something I will try not to make a habit of. Again, unless there's flu. <laughs> so I've, I've jumped straight to uh, part three. And basically when using the timeline like this, jumping from level to previously level, on quantum break. you get the previous screen. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. Jack, and also Joyce. you lose all the in weapons the other than the pistol. He wanted to show me what he'd been The standard with. pistol. Paul said it was world changing. Two minutes to the past. Jack. Well, you have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. Zero state. Uh, what have we done? What have we done? Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, wait. No, Jack! Oh, it's Paul, like... your plastic hair, it's gonna yeah, melt! Jack Joyce! Where's my brother? He might still be able to my catch bro. him. My bro! Paul? I'm sorry, Jack. I never wanted this. God damn it, stop replaying that. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. It's a nice reminder. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall chain. Yes, the key. Only lead we had. From the trailer, I was it. just in. What was your pick up the, doing in this shithole? The pickup. The collectible. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. Oh, Nick. I still can't get used to Nick. I He's a cool buddy, bro, you know. but I miss Amy. I gotta say, I miss Amy. Amy My was brother cool. Built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. 
I like the way their pants fit. It's called, it's called uh, going undercover, you jackass. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've been oh, about poor this Beth. for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William oh. owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things okay. will get worse as the fracture progresses. Let's walk and Monarch will be as fast as you do and retrieve it you. fast. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Could you repeat that? Oh, it wasn't important. Oh, yeah, the lock. I remember this part. <laughs> Locked. Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. No, I'm not giving it to you. I still have more you emails to check. Solution other than, you know, unlocking the door? No, no. Emails mm -hmm. come first, woman. Sorry, Go on, I'll put go your on. nose in my business. There's no way in over here. Of course, there are no emails on the grass. Silly me, they have to be somewhere behind this yellow okay. white cab. Gotta find another way in. Hey, Nick. This looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the. <laughs> Holy shit! That's oh, this is different. This was plate. different with Amy. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. Oh, my God. Maybe it was Bruce this who stabbed it with the time knife. Some kind of message. Think, Nick. Think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two, That's two. not... What, Nick? Numbers, that is taxis, not what it says there. Death. What is this? Wait, I want to listen to him. What are you rambling about, bro? Want to ramble on? No? I don't want to give you the key. You might just trick me, so... Need to find emails. Huh. All right. When he's doing that, there should be... Oh, I see. So yeah, I was talking about the vibrations of the controller, which you definitely can't feel. I'll try to... Wow, yep, yep, yep. Quickly, you goof. Chronon jump that shit. Uh, over here, Chronon jump. Chronon jump. Yes, yes, you see though? You need to jump on time, man. Uh, okay, let's say this way. Because there's a there's that orange thingy that says obviously says jump here. Nice. Hey, think I found a way in. Well, that's not a legit way in. Uh huh. Yeah. What have we got here? It's another chronon source. We've eaten so much chronon that I'm gonna fart time out of my ass. The next time I eat some Mexican chronon. It's like regular chronon, only red and spicy. Let's see. Whoopity doo. Ah, oh, skipped one. How did that happen? So. The scary graffiti. Need to rewind it again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go! Chronon jump all the way up. Jump! Chronon jump. Oh, let's go over here. Okay, I've got it. I have a theory how my taxi ended up here. Really? Your taxi. Let me hear it. <clears throat> I looked up the zip code zero one one. <laughs> Again with it's the zip code. South of here. <laughs> I left my car at the university. It ended up here. Oh, it went you don't see. Now you said time is like broken. What if space <laughs> is broken too, and everything is being pulled towards this zip code zero one one two two? <laughs> of course. I mean, it makes sense. <clears throat> Can we backpedal a bit? What about your <laughs> no cat? bath. It's a trap. <laughs> no. Okay. I'll explain later, honey. I gotta Google this. <laughs> so smug. <laughs> Something you want to say, Nick? Yeah, Nick. Have you ever heard of the zip code theory? A what? No. Okay. 
What would you do if I told you that all of Monarch's plans may be centered around the numbers 01122? Okay, I'm all I ears. I go on living my life, probably with slightly less respect for you. Hear me out. <laughs> 2010, 1999. Both years show up in Monarch files. Minus oh. 1999 from 2010. Oh, he's... That, you had that theory, man. It didn't pan out. It it didn't, I'm not listening. I'm walking away. Remind walking slowly away. Towards the Cronon. Whatever. I posted the theory on a forum and already got 13 likes. 13 likes! Wow! Ow. All right. Hey, my buddy Matt just texted me. Can I text him back? I did not. No. <laughs> how just how much? Okay. How long can they no. talk like this? <laughs> Smiley face. No. Nothing. Oh. Nothing, dumbass. You don't use your phone at all. Just like throw it away. Throw it away. Listen to Basil Faulty. Okay. I have a feeling when I come out the next time, he's gonna have fucked up. Real good, real good. So, two Chronon sources, and there's a while before the next thing. Alright. An old attic. Looks, looks nice, looks nice, but it's not interesting. Well, not interesting for our purpose. Well, I thank the good soul who put all those orange rags over here, so I know where to... Oh! Jump. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Well, eventually... They just might. Or might not, due to the choices we made. I have no idea. So I have to go there, I have to jump down there, and over here, there's nothing. It was behind is just that area where I where I found uh, the first Chronon source. Hello? Anybody home? Sorry to drop in on you, ha ha ha. I went to I went to Team Rocket School for jokes, you know. I'll take you down, good sir or ma'am. I'll take you down for good. No? Okay, there's no one here. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Nice. New things to see. Ooh, a lot of stuff to see. Okay, let's start with What the hell were you doing here, brother? Schrodinger. Experiments with rats? The first chrononaut, which is... I, I wonder if that's an actual name for a time traveler, because it makes sense, or did they just make it up, or did it appear in, a, in an earlier work of fiction? I have no idea. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct hey, the first animal test of the machine prototype Both using humans. my trusty hey. pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on, you're okay. You're all right, you're all right. Why would you leave that okay, here, Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will re-emerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. So basically the thing we've seen at the beginning of the game minutes, no with Littlefinger. I'm sorry, Paul Marine. Okay, so yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for <laughs> five minutes, took a shit on the tubing. <laughs> this reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. <laughs> it is a mouse, after all. Okay, the machine is Wait, it's still on? on. We must have hauled a lot more of this place than just some old boxes. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy So it shit. worked. <laughs> Holy shit, it worked. This, this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, 
What I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. Ow. <laughs> Fuck up at me. Oh, stop, stop fucking the future you. No, no, Schrodinger. That's not how you... Oh, god damn it. Okay, so... Uh, moving dates. So these are Will's moving papers, basically. His name. Extremely delicate boxes. Shipping seven, 17 truckloads over the course of 17 days. One truckload a day? Why not? Probably because he needs a lot of time to unpack it all. I, I don't know. And that was March 28, 1999. Again. Was it the 01122 zip code? I don't know. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? 17 years you have owned this place, Will. How could you, brother? How could you? Okay, so... So he purchased the Bradbury swimming pool and a kind of trick people who would be interested into thinking that the purchase was uh, not from his research grant funds. Uh huh. Na na na. And your attorney and friend tells you that your brother Jack misses you. Well, damn it, Will. We could have done this together. Then again, the game would be different, if at all, but still. No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. <laughs> how, how, did that sur how did it survive all this time? Wait, how long? I'm not sure when Will left this place. Uh, from what I remember, it was quite a while ago, but... Okay. So let's rewind this scene. Whoosh. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find you on the countermeasures complete. Oh, I know who he's talking to. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's see. So far we have everything and the next thing is, well, literally next to the previous thing, it seems. Oh, there's a Cronon source. Right over here. Just after I listen to the radio. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. Hey, Bobby. an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and <laughs> it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, your typical slick, mealy mouth bullshit. I'll oh. Sell it for you. As far as they're concerned, the whole thing was some kind of an accident with the premature demolition. Yeah, so. Some were tragically lost due to that. They're investigating. You can you can look at this at, at kind of a recap again. Nobody has access to the site right now. All we know is what they tell us. Thing is, there were a lot of people there. Some people I know personally. A lot of people. Seems to be a lot of folks. Jeez, I hope I didn't come across a one of those you so you personally. Mean, huh? I think it means that we and Goodbye, Bobby. It was nice knowing you. So what am I saying? Well, they got lots of lawyers, so I'm not saying anything other than this fool thinks <laughs> to high heaven. I don't understand it, but I can smell a goddamn rat. This shouldn't be happening. Hey, that's... He's not a rat, he's a mouse. First chrono. How dare you? You shouldn't have said it, you know, so that probably is by body. I guess we won't be talking to him anymore anytime soon. So the next one is I'm a going, I'm going to assume this Cronon source, because it kind of makes sense. It's right here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Hiding behind a, uh, whatever that is, a ventilation shaft. Ow. Bingo. That's three out of three, I guess. No, oh, what happened? Oh yeah, I should use those two to upgrade my powers, but later. Right now I'm focused on, 
on getting the rest of the story done. This door is inaccessible. Ah, oh, the lighting is so good. Kind of sometimes because there are different surroundings, you get a feel that it's kind of more than uh, more than one game. It, if you know what I mean, it's it gets different. I mean, it's 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 to the game's credit, I guess, because it's more engaging. Any luck in there? Different locales, Working sometimes dirty, sometimes clean. Should I unlock? Is there? Hold on, woman. There may be some emails you might on, stop in. me from reading. No. Yeah, just hold on. Hold on. I was stuck at the door. I have trouble controlling my legs. They could have just kicked that door. It doesn't look that sturdy. Like if Nick, just one of them. But if Nick and Jack both kicked All right, it, let's take a look they around. could have broken it down. Down doesn't here. look really doesn't look that sturdy. About time. I'm sorry, Nick, if this doesn't really go well with your 01122 theory, but there are emails that I need to read. Jackass. This note. Your score is getting low, it's Nick. Directed. So far Amy is in the lead. Oh, bro. I'm addressing this video to you. Hey Beth. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure gone. Taken. Shit. Taken? Call Liam Neeson. Empty. Just to untake it. You have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our it future. Is? Our entire lives depend on it. <laughs> this can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. Well, 2010. Just six years. Well, we might still Holy make it in time. You, you never know. You never know, Beth. What was that? What? He recorded that for me in 2010. What the fuck? He said the countermeasure is gone. It's as if he can time travel. That's oh my! Good. How did he do that? Out. Let's keep looking. Yes, let's move. Is it collectible? Oh, he's wearing old gods of Asgard t-shirt. So Alan Wake, another another detail that just proves that Alan Wake and Quantum Break share the same universe. So what happens to Alan Wake when time stops? Because he's basically he's, he's, he's in another dimension. Is it different for him? Or is the same thing? I'm going to unlock this. No? Apparently I'm not. Does Beth knew which door it was right at the start? Good going, Beth. So far, you're leading against Nick, which is not really an accomplishment, but... Shoulder bump! Oh, put your shoulder into it. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. Oh, don't try so hard, Beth. You might just... Well, wipe the window like a bit. You had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July fourth, two thousand ten. Somebody took it. That's just, just, just diabolical. Just when everyone was shoulder bump. There you go. When everyone was too busy celebrating Fourth of I'm July, they this stole place will help us figure bastards. out who. Who stole it? Who stole the countermeasure? I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. No, I, I sense emails nearby. Emails, emails take precedence over anything. I also smell some chronon sources, or rather see them. I don't know how, how does he feel. Does he see the, the little thing? Does he feel the whiff of the chronon source? Like. Hmm, that's some good chronon source. Ow. Okay, four out of five, I'd say. I can't, I can't really see the whole thing because the, uh, the mixer overlay is kind of blocking it. Is there more, more chronon power? <laughs> no. 
Well, that's a lot of space to have just one chronon power, Will. What the hell were you thinking, bro? Like, look at all this space. You could have like two, maybe even three chronon sources around here. Nothing. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, there's nothing for like five more steps. So yeah, I'll press the button. I don't mind. Yeah, where's the button? Chronon press. Even button pushing is better with chronon power. Is that yes way. Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. Or rather everything. the first one? Like if it was that's if the original we get this model. Thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. Ha <laughs> ha you naive we stop fool. The from ever <laughs> happening in the first place. <laughs> we can go back to yesterday. Uh, undo everything in the past before no, it happens. No. Nobody dies. No. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. No. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, Quiet, wait. Nick. Let's think this through. Yes, let's it's not listen to the woman. Can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it no, up. No, listen to the then God. Then God. the core, put the corridor in place and oh. separate. It. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the counter measure. <laughs> are you but two... You're right. You two are assholes. We'll you know that voice? Right. Let's start with the core. So the only person that actually has what? some oh, info... Shit. Some information about what's going on and... I saw some kind of vision. They just the ignore her. Workshop. You must have hit it here. What is Visions this? do not count. You just see a spaceship? thing and you don't. You have no idea what you've okay. seen. It was Core like fast forwarding a, a VHS tape. That's the, that does not count. Listen to Beth. Asshole. Okay, let's 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 sweep this place of all the emails and other things that we can actually get some get some actual knowledge, Jack. Okay. Gotta figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Uh, they're, they're probably just somewhere on the drawing, yeah. You know, maybe we can ask Beth. Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Okay, so basically he could have brought us ocarina of time a year earlier no oh, wait when did he complete it 1999 still he could have done something ah what a waste of good power so yeah this is from the this is from a newspaper article about will and his accomplishments uh about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars well, he stretched it good till 2010, I gotta say, like for all this thing. Sounds like not a lot of money to build a time machine, actually. Unless he was like, um, unless he was, hey, I don't know, map with the entire not even, I just place. saw that, Nick, for God's, why do you keep, you're ruining your rap, bro. Just stay quiet there, just sh shut up, drive the cab and be nice to Beth. And to me, of course. Why wouldn't you? It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? Uh, the round thing in the middle. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Jack. You might want to check out this monitor. Uh, which monitor? Actually, I'm not going to check out anything until we snoop for more emails. How do these console even look like they're from the 21st century? I sure as hell know how to make his life. Consoles? Did you say consoles? Is there a Nintendo there? Is there an is there an OG Xbox? No? Okay, I'll I'll come check that. Find an find an original Xbox. Cause You might want to take a look at this, Jack. Well actually it's 2016. Find an Xbox One. No, we have that. Uh there's a lot of stuff to see here. How the hell do they keep this all a secret? Is this? Corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. No, don't. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Okay, don't. Don't. How do I know what's an email? Is it like the icon? These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Drew everything? That's like, that's, that seems 
much more <laughs> like a much more painstaking job than building it. They believe it was destroyed shortly after. Oh nice. No, not what she's talking about. More things. Okay. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned eleven years, nineteen ninety nine to two thousand ten. In itself that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. <laughs> So maybe he helped himself travel through time and brought new ideas that, that would kind of break everything, but who knows with this game. From Will, while he was still between his Hobbit and his Lost phase, I would say. Oh, it's Beth to Will. Oh, this is a long, I remember this is a long chain of emails back and forth between uh, Will and Beth. And I'm going to make it real short for you because, as you can see, there's a lot here. It starts somewhere in 20, July 5th, 2010. So, like, one day. Uh, so, it's, like, the day that Will found, find, found out that the countermeasure, the device he was building to stop, uh, to, stop the pre to prevent the end of time it has been stolen. And it goes all the way to, what is this, October 8th, 2016. So, in short, Beth and uh, Will had contact for 10 years. Uh, what am I talking about? Six years, at least, according to these emails. But there's more. And, like, no, you know, you're probably saying, sense. but more on that later. Okay, email? Yeah, newspaper. As good as emails. Parents killed in a in Bradbury car crash. Holiday cheer is short supply in short supply in the Riverport community of Bradbury after a tragic car crash. Blah. Okay, so this is the this is the article about the death of Will and Jack's parents, which Will never fixed because reasons, I guess, too good for. He, he knew the consequences, I don't know, they, I don't remember them touching on that. 5 out of 5, is that, is that all? That's, oh, 93%. So we have one more thing to see here. After, so that was all of this. So there's a slight, like, a slight, a slight, a few minutes of gameplay before the next thing, according to the timeline. But it all depends on how fast you do these things, if you're like, if you're dicking around like me, just looking around for all the Chronon sources and all the collectibles, then then it takes longer, but that's why the timeline is there for, right? So let's see, the, we, I'm missing another thing and it's not a Chronon source. So it has to be like a document or or some kind of a some kind of a collectible, maybe a, a sign. Is there a sign? Oh there it is. I think it's this. Uh, by the icon. Civilian, yeah, that's definitely it. Civilian's Guide to Time Travel. So that was written by, um, by Will, Will, our buddy bro, our late buddy bro, on February 28th, uh, to 1999. And basically his, like his, his outline, his preparation for giving a presentation on this, I get. And, and it's funny, I'm gonna take a few lines, just a few Open with a zinger, Schrodinger cat joke. Note, find appropriate accompanying car. So he's he's thinking like a scientist, like a like a nerd, like like an organized, disorganized person, uh, to best explain it. So find appropriate accompanying cat photo. And then next note, uh, no cat photo. If you know what sh uh, what the Schrodinger experiment, Schrodinger cats, Schrodinger's cat is, then you'll understand. So no science explanation here, marketing bullshit, time machine equals works. Implications limitless. Give your money. Give your money. Give no, give me your money spiel. Give me your money. Ah, give me your mo money spiel. So yeah, he's he's asking for funding. Build up existence of time machine. Content here dependent on findings from first human test later tonight. Findings, facts dumbed down for the mouth breeders who will inevitably want to invest. Purpose of guide to explain the mouth breeders how the time machine works and why. Note proof, proofread and delete all mouth breeder references. <laughs> he obviously didn't do that. Uh, time machine overview. It's a printed document, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. How research started, include gra gratitude for research grants, sucking, 
sucking ass community and investors. Okay, no, also thank Jack for his patience. You never, did you do that? We never talked about it. Did you do that? No, it's too personal overview of time machine. Parts, chronon particles, chronon part. There we go, chronon particles, ladies and gentlemen. We've come to the part, and we're gonna find out exactly nothing, if I remember correctly. Nobody will give a shit about this or understand. Skip it. No, god damn it, will out. God. How time travel works. Simplest terms. Subject activates time machine. Step one, core. Step two, the corridor. Subject sets the desired time travel date. Subject centers the corridor. Compare corridor to donut in shape. And uh, to explain, note, add joke, you don't want to eat this donut on your, or your body will suffer terminal chronon saturation, leading to your slow but inevitable death. Ha ha ha. Note, cut joke, disturbing. Subject walks out of the corridor, walking clockwise around corridor, time travel to future, walking counterclockwise the, to the past. Clock-like design, subject arrives at new time in future or past. Space-time space -time continuum, travel across space. Time travel is not a will not always be the same at entry point because I guess the Earth uh, it rotates and the universe moves and it, it would be nice to explain that some somewhere you can just like time travel to exact same spot it's tied to a rotating black hole core explain core first fuck it <laughs> just fuck it Com just compare the core to a car engine look up info on car engine <laughs> You tell me, you tell me the guy built a time machine, a working time machine that works in in a very intricate way, like moving around a donut-shaped tunnel, funnel tunnel, and uh, and then he doesn't know, he has to look up info on car, and it just doesn't make sense on so many levels. I I can't even explain. Subject will arrive in future past at the location where the time machine and core were located in that time. Okay, wait. I just uh, we, uh, just erase everything I said a uh, few sentences prior to this about yeah. Doesn't matter. Fuck it. Cannot travel to a time when the machine and the core were not active. This part I like honestly because this is like it makes sense. You can't go to the dinosaur age because the time machine doesn't, didn't exist there, so you can only travel. Anywhere where the time machine, the the exact one you're using, has been uh, has existed, so you're basically moving to if if you travel through time into like 500 years into the future and and somebody somebody just takes the, the time machine and takes it to another place I don't know to uh, <coughs> pardon me to uh, to to Grand Canyon I don't know uh, like dangling there in the air or or into space. You're pretty much fucked. So, oh, he explains that in a less funny way. Use better examples, no circus tent, blah, blah, blah. So, closed loops. In theory, all actions resulting from time travel already equal already accounted for. So, this is one of those things you can't change time. Whatever you do to change time means that you affected it originally happening that way which I call bullshit on because there's a time machine and somebody obviously used it and it just... I, maybe I don't like it, I don't know. Let's move on. It's been too long. We have two... We have all the... So 100% collectibles in Act 2. And let's finish this. Let's finish it. Let's, let's finish it. Use the ladder, the time lad. No! God damn it. You can't chronon jump things when there are chronon letters there. Just doesn't make sense. Is it this? Wait, let me check. Let me let me see Beth. Let me see. Hey Beth. Thank you for patiently waiting there for like five minutes. Oh, there's more stuff to touch. Yay! No. I'm not touching it. I'm not. Hold on a minute, Beth. I'll be right back. There's a thing here. There are three computers I think I can activate. And I don't think you can fuck this part up, but let's see. Another computer. Need to find a way to reset the core so they're first. all they all have the same image, so I guess they're all the same exact same thing. I'm not gonna go up. I don't think there's anything like different up up there. 
And wow, I applaud Will, my bro, my buddy bro, for building this time machine literally out of... So this kind of excuses his budget because this is literally out of tin scraps and got various pieces of metal and just basic girders. It's really budget. And computers that... I don't know what this is. It doesn't look... I'm not gonna question it. I, hey, I, I can't make a better like one, so I'll shut up. From here. Oh, nice. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. <laughs> Good point. Look, Will knew Burn. the calculations were wrong. Hoping yeah. that means he knew what he was doing here. I just gotta remind you, Jack, every, all you did we'll back to. with the with Littlefinger, with it. Paul Marine, was the core. push a fucking switch. Finished. It's not... you can't... Anyone can push a switch. This could actually be the key to God. finding the countermeasure. Follow Beth, she's we'll smart. See. It's still she's resetting. the only person with a working brain around here. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Doohickey. <laughs> so that's that's how much two guys know about this stuff. I'm not saying Beth knows more, but <laughs> corridor activation. No, we don't need that. Let's listen to Nick, buddy bro. I can't I can't use any of my uh, only time vision. I can't zip fast across the hall. Probably not to just give them a heart attack. So let's do this. Chronon. Here goes nothing. Push, I guess. No. Pull. Oh, push. Oh yeah, that's what we did. We pushed. We pressed. Pressed. Pushed L. Pushed the left stick. Held it. Pushed until it was gone. Damn. You are a Chronon enabled special person, Jack. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Yeah, it's giving us. Okay, we activate the Wow, a weird next. mirror thing. I can see myself Whoa! there. Jesus, Hello, look at Jack. That thing go! It's not going in anywhere, man. It's still there. What the? Did you eat some shrooms while I was away, Nick? What's wrong with you, bro? Don't look at me like that. What's wrong with you? It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way, that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. You think you had help? Shut up, Nick. You're not helping yourself. I'll bet a Shut lot up. of guys got paid under the table to get this thing running. <laughs> There's a lot of clicking here. I don't think so. Might be what you're looking for. Hey, Beth. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. He said the countermeasure was stolen. Yeah. But the machine is still here. You read the document, man. Are you paying attention at all? Are you just Are you just relying on Beth and me to fill you in? Like that's not smart, bro. Chronon push, I guess. Flip. Oh, Chronon turn. Oh, it's Chronon turning all right. Did you guys see that? It's the biggest shower curtain ever. Yeah. Invented, like produced. Key to a time machine, and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. So the time machine is ready. It's good? cooking. What? You know how? You know it's what the time machine works. sounds like? Well, she should. Uh, set the date. Set the date. It's probably the third, yeah, the third computer over there. Hey, Nick. You have anything new to say? You, um, seem to be taking all this surprisingly well. Don't get me wrong. This is weird as fuck, but it beats being back in that room with two asshats holding a gun to my head. Ah, uh, it's fair enough. That is, that is some good lip sync over there, yeah. How about Beth? Nothing. She said... She said everything she had to say. Poor Beth having to run around with these guys. Date input. No, 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 no. What? <clears throat> God damn it. I don't know. Kid it, that'll fix it. Just smash it. Is 
that what you're looking for? I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, yeah like hell that you might are. be it. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you Nobody do is gonna make is. it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. Just face the reality. But I might know somebody who can. Oh well, that well, that was a quick turnaround. Sophia Amaral. You mean Sophie? I saw her video in Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told oh, me yeah. to that party. We don't have a slob out here, so I'm filling in. Oh, Jack, Jack, are you gonna no. cut the cake? No, wait. What? God damn it, Jack. Like, every fucking time this woman gives you a piece of advice, you do the exact opposite. Like, every time. Can you just miss once? Just, just try not to win the first place at... Oh, I'd fuck up university, you... God damn. You have no choice. You have no... So you have no... Literally no impact on that choice. And uh, there should be cool music, I think, here and end credits. I think they're not there because, yeah, they're not. They're going to be probably totally silence, silent because we we're, we've disabled all the copyrighted music. So just continue. <laughs> no credits for you. And now, junction two: business or personal. This is the this the is the point. Used to be so clear. When I was reliving the this past, is a point where uh, to the moment I had left we end. make a tough choice with Paul and Marine. Then, are the plan and the visions. And we're going to make a tough one. I knew Jack would come to Those me. are the only two we have. Tough, I said, tough. But I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, because there are visions of the future, that makes sense, machine. doesn't it? We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day. Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. You could we work together. His brother managed to tell him. You could. You can still flip around. Just really work with your best friend. Just do things differently. You don't have to be an asshole. This is trying to play you. this part is really, but he doesn't have to be an asshole in reality. It's in our interest to find out where. Just he's. He's, if Jack knows, he could have chose differently. That's what I'm trying to say. He could have worked. They could have worked together. I mean, the game wouldn't be what it is, but may, maybe it would Dr. even Joyce be better, like joining forces. I don't know. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? Hmm. You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. It doesn't seem that way. Like you're saying that, but it doesn't seem like that's the. Oh, there's something here. Hold on, Martin. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Hold on. We, there's an email, man. This is more important. But when will people learn? God. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon Research Department after Dr. Kim's accident. From she Sophia was the only to Eric. the Cronon syndrome. Cronon syndrome. We're really imaginative with names here, not like time sickness or I don't know. Chronoplasty? That's a thing, I guess. Chronoplasty. Oh yeah, that's the soul river. You, you could have called it Cronon Chronoplasty. That would be that would be a good like. I think it's not trademark. Whatever. Just Cronon syndrome. That's like. I don't know. It sounds. Could have been better. Uh, with Henry, who the fuck is Henry? Blah blah. You're correcting that every sensitive topic. Uh, for the past six months. So yeah, they're trying to. F what happened to Doctor Henry? Ah, Henry Kim. God damn it! I should listen. I. You see, it's it's jumping from Jack to me. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm doing it. So, Dr. Kim, uh, I'm going to give you a short version so uh, so Martin here doesn't throw a fit. Um, Dr. Kim was the guy who worked on the Chronon tech be uh, like before Will, for 
Monarch, Paul's, Paul's, Paul Marine's company, and um, he's dead. At, there are some very weird circumstances, and more on that later. The mansion was an extravagance, but it was useful for events like the gala, and it deflected attention from our nearby R&D facility. <laughs> what is that, like a, an a, attention sponge gala? <laughs> So that's all here, yeah, there was just one thing. And since we have all the quantum ripples, um, we're gonna see something different in the show, in the series, I'm not sure, but hold on, it's gonna be there in a few minutes. Let's see. Walk slowly, like a normal person. Oh, quicker. Martin, I can't, what, my, my stick is more sensitive, you have to, okay, yeah, that's, that's a good tempo. Keep that up, Martin. Keep it up. I guess there's nothing to see here. Oh, I can't run anyway. Oh, I can run? Well, that's just changing your mind whenever you want to game, are you? Is what that a Monarch lunchbox? We should lunch be bag? by now. What, it's speakers? You're micromanaging again. Hey, I pay you to micromanage, you prick. Don't even twitch. Don't even twitch? Oh, we have someone here. Oh, we have an asshole who's not listening to a and smart here woman you here. Are. How convenient. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. Here I am. And it was such a up nice close and personal. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? How do I want to deal with this? I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. Apparently, it's dealing with itself. There's a time melt around this. Are you okay, guy? You... Heavy armored person, you okay there? You're, you know, you're glitching Go out of existence. What you you have a voice, a conscience? No, okay, just stand there. I'll be back. Oh, sorry. When did you? Were you always there? Jumping up, and your boss like that? That's that's. You got ten percent of your salary this this month, buddy. Consider that a warning. Okay, Jack, let's. What are we gonna do about you, Jack? You could have listened to to the woman, but now you, you're this here. This and... don't look like much. Tell that to all the guys he wasted. Yeah, tell that to them. Who said that? Who said that? Raise your hand. Who said that? Ten percent of your salary as well. Whoever you you know who you are. Defying your boss like that, I'm gonna. Why? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason, or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Well, he's your best friend, so so let's see the business I approach. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I well aware, Mr. Jones, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. So I can... But my old friend would be a lost cause. I can choose to have... Dead and buried along with the rest of my past. So I can have either Hatch Tonight or a celebration. Full a celebration. Marine deal with Jack Face and that. Tonight we celebrate because I promised to you that Well, neither one like him in general, so it's not good for Jack. With my presence, the plan would go forward as intended. There are two people in the chair there, but okay. So let's see the personal approach, with which which is personal. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean what is nobody the truth? got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Oh really? Because then that's what we're gonna do. I, on the previous run I, I did the business Anyway, so I'm gonna go with personal. I'm doing all the opposite choices from my previous run, so let's make it personal. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. Are we gonna make love? All right, bro. Because Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. I need to. I didn't get to yeah. take a shower. I was at the pool, I know, but still, there was no water, just the time machine. Can I? Can I take a shower? First, please. Oh, look at him. He's looking at him all like, I'm gonna eat you up, bro. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is the young. So that's the young. I've seen where this leads. To the end game? 
I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. So you decided to be a dick? Is that the cure for death? Because you could have made a better plan. There's a woman who knows more, and nobody's listening to her. God, people, it's just... Oh. At least the choices matter much more than in Telltale games, from what it seems. Like, I'm not saying they don't matter in Telltale games, but they definitely make a more interesting impact here. And here we are with the show, Time with the series. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us. At lifeboat least some of us. protocol. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go. That was slow. Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Oh, Amy. Wait. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Thank you for reminding me of killing Step Amy. Away. Right now. Fucking okay, game. This isn't what I'm no. No. <laughs> I always find that funny how he looks at his cat. Gone. I had it, but now it's gone. Quantum Break, Episode Two Prisoner. Stop dark vadering it. <sighs> what was Jack that hard? Was he a hard Jack? No, I need to work on something new. Where are the subtitles? So this happens from time to time. You will lose subtitles and you have to, uh, basically you have to restart the show. That's not the end of episode two, but okay. So what I'm going to do is go back to the main menu. If, you, if, you, if you're interested in the show and this ever happens to you, you have to just exit the episode, go to the timeline. So back to the main menu, do not continue to the next one and uh, just replay episode two and it should... Skip the recap, and it should have subtitles now. But you know, it's finicky. It's finicky for some reason. I don't know why is that. Why is it? Why does it do that? So they might work now and might not. You know, you you never know. Breathe. Okay, so they work. And it's a good thing because I kept hearing "please" instead of "breathe." Which would have, you know, it would have made more sense with my theory about hard jack. Oh, that was one hard jack, wasn't it? Yeah, it also wasn't a very, it wasn't a little finger. It was a big finger. Mm. Woo. Treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No, you need a smaller jack. to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. Oh, that's Sophia. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it. Sophine. That's Sophine. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than I've we're... seen when it happens. At I least, know everything, woman. Stop something. telling me what to do. God, women in this game, they act all smart and funny, but they're not. Except they are. Jack knows where William's machine is. Knows where it is or who it is. Him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Yes, Martin. Martin. Sophie. Thank you. 
my asshole would have hurt all day if you hadn't plugged Jack out of my ass. I know, Sophine, I know. Don't worry, Bruce will save you soon. With his time knife. Muffled rock music. You haven't touched your drink. That was muffled okay, bass, but not, okay. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Charlie oh. and Fiona. Dang. Fiona. Charlie yeah. and Fiona. Yeah. Thank you. are a perfect like, pair. What? I have things happen in my day. Oh, what is going mm -hmm. on? We had to, Just uh, take had a look over there. I'm not even looking for singing. Internal affairs. Like, rhyming. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> internal hanging? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I helped catch a trainer today. Oh. A trainer? Is that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Me? Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who's it? Sorry, I can't. I can't Who hear you from the sound <laughs> of Fiona dripping on the uh, floor. What? I am not that was so hot, disgusting. Charlie. Yeah, You're a real well, woman's well, man. Well, Just well. keep going. And yeah. what? I, don't know. I, guess, I see I guess you have been taking lessons from Bruce. That, that is a good thing. Just keep it up, bro. Share it with me. I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hang in here for real. Okay. Okay, then I'll use the rest of the room. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I agree. Uh, affirmative. And confirm. <laughs> Fiona. Fiona. She has, I guess, engine rumble PTSD. Liam. Liam? That's Liam, right? His name is Liam, isn't it? Liam. So many characters. God damn it. But we like Liam. He's kind of good people, I guess. Oh, hi there. <laughs> You guys seem to end up in the same van <laughs> often enough. Thanks for the gun. I see you're an uh, adventurer like I am, sir. <laughs> yeah, I went to the Team Rocket uh, School of Jokes as well. <laughs> Dr. Rumble? Martin? So formal. I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Yeah. Is it so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. He doesn't That's like why. it. Leave the man alone. I know you Gosh. and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. You can't see eye to eye. You can see maybe your eye to his has to chest, I guess. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Yeah, that's about right. Eye to neck. You can see eye to neck. Truth is, Sophia. And nothing to eye. It's not matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I oh. find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Oh. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism. Distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. And can I be honest? I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Oh, how dare you! I care about Monarch. Well, I care about Monarch as well. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Vaginas. It's vaginas. We, we're all threatened by vaginas. Do I look threatened to you? Except by vaginas. She will not give you the pleasure of threatening you with vaginas. We have control of the presentation. 
Uh, we have control? What, uh, how did we not have control? Yeah. I'm not sure if this part is different so far. So far. Oh, wait. It, they, yeah, this, this, this part is different, it seems. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Yeah, it's open. Hey, it's Crocker. A, yeah, it's not. I think it's not different. <laughs> Crocker. There's a there's an actual hole there. You, you need can, to take a shit. You can take a shit through that hole. Oh, Crocker. <laughs> Crocker. If he doesn't let you out, that's a good re <laughs> retribution for being denied full time. <laughs> You're so smart and Where? funny. The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney, wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Mm. Ryan Gosling, because you couldn't get the actual. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Who's Richard? Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh, she's going for it. Oh. Bam! No. Told you. Told you everybody has a Lumia in this world. Phone that definitely stood the test of time. Well, they actually rules. did, to be honest. But that's a story for another time. Rules. You owe me another sword. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm going to oh, do it. I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. $8. Thanks What's wrong you. with you? Charlie, <laughs> you don't like juicy burgers you don't like olives oh, nicely done. what else you don't like oh. maybe you don't like Thank transparent you. air as Wish well I wasn't losing so bad do you want to go for a walk oh yeah yeah okay. for you just joining in devil's law boat all right lady. I'm, taking so I'm taking mine too love that beat Spam him to death. That'll get him to. Yeah. Perk, shut Crocker. the fuck up. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Perk, Listen, if I have to come in there, you're going to fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm going to be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking. He's obviously a man is please in charge, Crocker. Can't you see that? Fucking shit. A man in charge and in need Go to the back wall. of a shit. Fuck, thank you, man. Don't shit on the back so wall. Much. You're gonna sleep there. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. That's some ninja shit. That is a good setup. Like, you had to set it up. Still good. I mean, I'm not gonna call total bullshit because it looked so good. He did so many kicking at them. <laughs> yeah, he did. You're right. He did. He did so. He did. He did so many kicking at them with his legs. It was real intense. And he gave us five seconds to settle after this guy actually read Bruce's script. He read the time like so you mind that we Liam. Here. Your score just <laughs> went like. <laughs> 80% higher, man. Okay, what'd you Shut up, Charlie, you're not cool. Because somebody twisted my arm. What the fuck is that? Oh, a quantum ripple. That looks like a that, dinosaur. That symbol we just saw on the screen. Yeah. That's the dinosaur exactly cut out. I told you in my last what, video, hey, it was we? We kind of important, like yeah, sure. one of the details. <laughs> okay. It's going to be more fleshed right. out later. So. <laughs> So what would you have been doing? Tonight? Let's keep an eye on that, yeah. shall we? What? If I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you worked a little. Bit. Yes. But I, again. <laughs> well, no. I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know. Because I'm having like fun. Yeah. Makes me feel. Like it's being wired in. You were Wires. Up. Yes. You're there. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess 
Yeah. Work. Right work. Oh. Hey, you little fuck. Hey, that was. All you had to do Traitor. was let me in that perimeter lab. All you had to do was yeah, sacrifice no, no, no. your job, you little prick. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? Forces. I need to get in that lab. Charlie, There's don't be a bitch. I need. The lifeboat protocol. Ah, again, a woman with knowledge. Wilder, I've seen well, before. who would have thought of that? You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Beth Wilder? Well, what do you know? Beth seems to know things after all. Why is... Oh, Charlie's heart just... I, I think I heard that sound. It sounded like he, his heart was broken, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he was. He realized he was being used. That is... I do feel sorry for him, like, because he genuinely thought yeah. this girl liked him. Maybe she does. We'll see. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. Well, ain't that a handy door? It's right up here. What, Dr. Kim's lab? Oh, Is that right. what they're looking for? I got it, guys. I got it. Is that the lifeboat protocol? I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. I'm glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> So you're part Claptrap, or Wheatley. You're welcome. You hack doors. Is this it? I don't know, it just gets me. How can you still be a bitch? Like, just work with people. Don't be such a... Yes, you're good with computers, but you obviously suck at everything else. So just, like, act your age. Oh, yeah, here we go. So... What is that? Wow. That, my friend, is a... You see it? See it? Yep. That's a time zombie. Let's call them that. Cause like the, they're called... They're, I think they're called... They're not called Lost, but something... Something, something, and... Um, what the fuck is that? But it's basically a time zombie. Automatic. Building up. Come on. Coolant disrupted life form. Okay, yeah, the colon that as well. The disrupted? I don't know. I never heard of them. Life form. So you have no idea what it is? Shocking. It's Dr. Kim. There you go. So He's been time fucked. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. There's, the game is gonna try and explain it. It will explain it. It's just what happened to him. It's it wasn't as special as Jack and uh, Paul Marine, I guess. Oh, this scene is different. So he's talking. So yeah, it's different. He's gonna, they're gonna have a chat, heart to heart chat. I wonder where this is going to go. There's some staring. Sad eyed staring. Where is it? Not even a hi. Sorry I killed your buddy, bro. My best bro. Know, Nothing. Talking. You don't start. Oh. You suck at people's skills. Paul Marine, you suck people's skills. I've been to the past. Try to change things, undo mistakes, only to find there's no changing the inevitable time. Explain. Is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. 
That's not true. In the other I do. playthrough, I end up with Hatch. Time ends. So you decided to be a jerk and try to prevent it. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however... What? What's the joke? Like, oh, you've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, eleven or twelve years old. Oh, when we found this is new. You remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down. But my presence startled him, and... He fell. Same as before. That doesn't prove anything. Just go back anything again and... Try to change. Put a trampoline down there. Like, whatever. That. We keep seeing that body. You can't tell me just... Can't. It's, it's there. It's written in stone. That's... Not even, like, at the end of Soul Reaver, we see I'm that, like, not at the end, like, race. somewhere halfway down the uh, Legacy of Cain uh, saga, uh, I think it's Soul Reaver 2, we find out that, sacrifice. yes, things can happen differently, even though it, it makes more sense and there well for the events to just be, you know, written That's in stone and cannot be changed. And even there, we have the, the, the different timelines time. where we have... Uh, what was he called? He William the Nemesis? And after Cain's influence, he became William the Savior or something like that. So. Answer me this question, Paul. I know I brought Soul Reaver into this, I guess. It ha has a good authority on time travel in video gaming. Damn, those are some blue eyes. When you're ready like, to cooperate. Hand drawn blue eyes. I will be here. No, you're, you're actually I'll be here and you will not be here and you will have to come here, but whatever. Lock engages. Well, I guess it was done to write lock locks. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and mm -hmm. then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Turn you around, good. I'm not gonna, okay. Got it. Sort of, I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's, it's a ghost file on a ghost deletion. man. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Cronin Field Wait, Regulator. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... They're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of Gosh, time. Charlie, have you been following anything? Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the light bulb... And Fiona's, like, say. excellent at explaining this. Like, you, you're so but composed, the, Fiona. The Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. So, it, everything, like even the time machine, because it shouldn't be. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. All oh, those yellow. Oh. Don't, 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 don't touch her. Fiona. This. So she. Ah, oh, oh, she's. Yeah. Stay here. Stutter, where are you going? There are cold harnesses up here. We need them. Cold harnesses. Oh, so that's that's the thing. These guys are wearing the suits that basically resist all the, you know, all the time bugs, all the stutters, all the even when time stops, you can move when you're in them. That is like, that, I like the effects in this. Oh, I just. Crap. It's a nice visual way to represent like a time bugs because 
Maybe someone in the future will find a better one. Like one will all be like, wow, that's fucking awesome. But for now, this is pretty cool. Pow, pow, pow. Suppressing fire! Shit. Put one of those on. Yeah. So he did learn something from Jack, and that's the Chrono's shoulder bump. Oh, they're doing they're doing the exact same, th same thing as in the uh, in the game. Don't talk shit. What's wrong with oh oh yeah? But he has a Chrono card. Unplug Fiona then. Charlie, you Charlie! piece of fuck! Piece of fuck! You fuck! You dick! You shit fuck! God damn it, Charlie! You. Let's go! You're... Let's go! Let's go! I I get a, I can get you know leaving Liam, but Fiona? What? You're angry because she she doesn't like you? And that's it. That's the end of episode two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there was that that was episode two and three quarters of Quantum Break, both the game and the live action show. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I just want to remind you that uh, so next over the next two weeks I will be traveling and uh, since I won't have my Xbox with me, I'll be streaming something different for my laptop, Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition. Uh, if you want to know more details, just take a look at my Mixer profile. The schedule is there. There's some other useful info. And there's also the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter pages and the YouTube channel, which will be seeing more and more activity pretty soon. Um, so that's that's it, basically. See you all, see you all next time, uh, next week, same time. And we'll be playing again Final Fantasy uh, 15 pocket edition thank you for watching and have a great day evening morning whatever you're having let's make it great thank you and goodbye